Hi. Now in this question, we're asked to simplify the fraction 5 minus root 3 over 2 plus root 3. Now in order to do this, it's called rationalizing. So what is rationalizing? Well, first of all, let's just copy down the fraction again. 5 minus root 3 all over 2 plus root 3. Now with rationalizing, when you've got thirds in the denominator of a fraction, and in this particular example we've got two terms here, we've got the 2, separated them with the plus and then the root 3, what we need to do is switch the sign in the middle here. And In this case we've got a plus, so we switch it to a minus, and we multiply top and bottom, I'll do it in red actually, multiply top and bottom by 2 minus root 3 all over 2 minus root 3. This is effectively the number 1 because they're exactly the same value and multiplying any fraction by 1 is not going to change the value, only the appearance. So let's just finish this off now. Think of the top in brackets, let's just put some brackets around here and we might as well put brackets around the bottom. You don't have to put the brackets, but it might just help you see this through. So what we're going to do is multiply the brackets now. So we have 5 times 2, which is 10, and then 5 times minus root 3, which is minus 5 root 3. Then minus root 3 times 2 is minus 2 root 3. And then minus root 3 times another minus root 3, or well, two minuses, that's going to be replaced with a plus. And root 3 times root 3 is 3. You might want to see it as the square root of 9, but still 3. Okay, so that's 3 there. All divided by, and then we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we have 2 times minus root 3, which is minus 2 root 3. And root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3. And then plus root 3 times minus root 3 is going to be minus the square root of 9, or minus 3. Tidying this up, on the top we have the 10 and the 3, which is 13. And then minus 5 root 3 minus another 2 root 3 is going to be minus 7 root 3. And all this is divided by, well, 4 minus 3 is 1. And you'll notice minus 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 here cancel out one another out to give a 0. So at the end of the day, we just simply have 13 minus 7 root 3. And that brings us to the end of this question.